Hello church, how are you doing today? My name is Rebecca and I am from our Manchester campus. I hope you're all doing well. Um, so today I'm going to continue our video devotions, uh, our daily devotions on our, some of our important scriptures that the guys uh, have been sharing from church. Um, but today I'm going to give you a slightly different uh, take on it and that I'm going to give you a sneak peek uh, into one of our amazing courses that we run here at Audacious Church, as that's where I really got hold of this particular scripture. Um, so the course I'm talking about is the Wellbeing course. Uh, it is an absolutely fantastic resource that we have available to us. Um, and if you haven't been on it yet, I really encourage you to do so. Um, we all have a mental health in the same way we all have a physical health uh, and our mental health could be great or it could be not so great um, but this course gives us practical tools uh, to help your mental well-being but also tools that you can pass on to others um, I did it uh, back in I want to say May this year um, and I, it was just super super helpful and really really encourage you to join it um, so during week seven uh, the topic was managing your thoughts uh, and that was discussed throughout the the kind of the week seven that we did uh, and one of the key scriptures that came out was uh, Philippians 4.8 uh, and I'm going to read it from the New Living Translation today. So the scripture Philippians 4.8 says and now dear brothers and sisters one final thing fix your thoughts on what is true and honourable and right and pure and lovely and admirable. Think about things that are excellent and worthy of praise. So uh, during week seven of the wellbeing course, a study was shared um, that revealed that rumination, so that's dwelling on a problem or a thought and chewing it over and over, is the biggest predictor of the most common mental health problems. So the BBC News states, uh, the way in which things lead to depression or anxiety was by a person ruminating on and blaming themselves for a problem. So instead of us thinking about over and over about a negative situation, which can lead us down a track um, of poor mental health, um, of, you know, of what we could have done differently, that it was my fault and, and all that sort of negativity that comes from. Like the scripture says, that we need to ruminate on what is true, honourable, right, pure, lovely and admirable. From these positive thoughts instead of negative thoughts, praise will be the overflow. And we all know that praise is the precursor to our breakthrough. Um, further into week seven of the course, uh, we were given these super handy skills um, that I just wanted to pass on, especially if you're in a situation of ruminating over, an, over, neg over a negative thing. Um, so not only do we get given the scripture, which is the word of God, it is the truth and something that we can hold on to. Here's some really practical skills just to, to help you if you are in that situation right now. Um, so again, Philippians 4a, speak truth rather than the lies. So keep saying that statement, over, keep saying that scripture over and over to yourself. Write it on, you know, your fridge or put it on your phone background, whatever. Something that you see daily to keep reminding you. So you're ruminating on that, and then over from from kind of moving on from that. There's four skills that we got shared in week seven. So skill number one is let the negative thought pass you by, um, like plates in a sushi bar. If you've been to a sushi bar, it's on like a conveyor belt. Just let it pass you by and try and keep those negative thoughts doing that. Skill number two, take your thoughts to court and defend against the negative lies. Negative slash lies, sorry. Um, so if you think of something negative, take it to court and put the word of God against it. So use Philippians 4, right? Is this true? Is this honorable? Is this right? No, and it's, it's negative, it's a lie, um, and defend it and, you know, like, like in a court like in a court scene that you see on the TV, use that kind of analogy uh, in skill two. And then in skill three, be kind to yourself. Um, you know, if you find yourself being negative about, about yourself, take that to court, you know, let it pass you by, do all those sorts of things. But also remember just to be kind to yourself, speak nicely to yourself. And then skill four, 
change our mental diet and ruminate what is on what is true and that brings us right back to philippians 4 8 which i'm just going to read again for you so philippians 4 8 and now dear brothers and sisters one final thing fix your thoughts on what is true and honorable and right and pure and lovely and admirable think about things that are excellent and worthy of praise Thanks so much, Church. I hope you have a, hope you have a great day. And again, I just encourage you, think about things that are excellent and worthy of praise and ruminate on the positive, not the negative. Thanks, Church. See you later.